Okay, so last time when we were working with RStudio, we uploaded our data, and we were trying to do a little bit of, uh, of analysis so that we could, we could start working on our frequency tables. And we got a little ways into there, so we should still have our CARS data set uh, all loaded. And this one's just a little bit different. Remember, I had the zeros in there to help out with that. Uh, if you want to change your data set, you can open up your Excel car set. Here I've got mine open. And you can change 11 or B11, B12, and B13. And just change those to zeros. And then you can have the same data set uh, that I'm using right now. Okay, so let's go through again. Let's look at the statistics. Let's look at the summaries. Oops and let's go over to frequency distributions. And we're gonna do both of these at the same time again. So you can click on one and then do shift and click on the other one and then click okay. Okay, so we go over to the R terminal and we see, hey, we got info for the black, blue, red, silver, white, and we have the numbers here and we also have percentages. And same thing with the male and female, for the counts and the percentages. So let's take this information that we had and let's actually build a good looking table. R for all of its power and usefulness sometimes doesn't produce the most beautiful plots. So I'm gonna bring Excel over here. I'm gonna make it small. And I'm gonna open up a new sheet. So I'm going to just highlight this data I'm going to copy it and I'm going to come over into Excel and paste it. And we're probably going to have to do a little bit of work with it. Okay, so you notice it gave me this extra space. No big deal. Just highlight your data and drag it over one. And usually when we do this, when we do our frequency tables, we want these vertically. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go over here, right click, and I want to go down to Paste Special. Now in Paste Special, I'm going to go down to Transpose. Now I'm on a Mac, so this is what it looks like. Um, the drops, the options are similar. If you go into Paste Special, there will be a Transpose as well on a PC. So go ahead and select Transpose, click OK, and hey, we have our uh, the beginning of our table. So I'm going to just delete those. So I just highlighted it and delete. I don't need those anymore. And I'm going to call this color and I'm going to call this count. Now if we go over here we also have percentages. So let's just highlight that and we can copy and let's paste. And once again we're going to want to transpose this. So let's copy, right click, Paste special, go to transpose, click OK, and now we can delete those upper values again. And let's just type in, instead of percentage, we're going to type in frequency. F R E Q. We'll leave it right like that. So these are actually in like percentages, and most of the time we use them in decimal form. There's a couple ways we can actually get to it. Um, I'm just going to take these and drag them down so that we have them for reference because we're going to need to know how to do this with our uh, numerical data. So in order to get the frequency, we need to know two pieces of information. One, we need to know the total sample size. So first things first, I'm just going to click down a little bit below and I'm going to say sample size or yeah, we'll just do sample total or something like that, sample size. And I'm going to say equals. Now I want to type in the word sum because I want to add everything together. And we just want to count all of the, uh, the, the cars that were sampled. And we hit enter. And so we have a total of 41. So the frequency, all it is, we're going to hit equals. We want to select the count. So it's the individual car count divided by the total sample size. Now we could go down and do this on every single one. We could then say equals, say, the blue divided by the sample total. 
but that gets tedious really fast. As a double check, we can see, did we get in the ballpark? Did we get the same thing that R got? We said, all right, this is 0 0.1707. Here we have 17.07. This is just in uh, percentage form. This is in decimal form. So let's go ahead and get rid of our percentage form. We're just going to be working on our decimal form. Okay, there's an easier way to do this so that we don't have to, because what happens if we had like, hundred different colors and we were doing this it would take forever. Excel's got some nice tricks. So let's go and double click on our first one, the one with black, and what we can do is if you push uh, F4 on your PC or function F4 on a Mac, we get these dollar signs. And what it does is it's going to lock the reference on the cell total. So let's hit enter and then we're just going to click on the cell. We're going to click on the box or the little square in the right hand corner I want to drag it down and it applies this equation correctly let's go and look at it so if we double click on a specific equation it says hey we take the silver divided by the sample total and that gives us our more specifically than just frequency this is the relative relative frequency Okay, let's do one more. Oh, and with this, like, there's way too many decimals showing. Let's let's get that under control. Let's go to home. And if we go to number, or the easiest way to probably do it is just right click and go to format cells. And we can go to number and we can say how many decimal places we want to show. I generally pick three or four. And click OK. And look, we now have the relative frequency. All right, moving over, let's do a cumulative frequency. And I'm just going to do cumulative frequency. All right, so this is a little different. So the cumulative frequency is how likely is something to happen for an event or less. Uh, it really actually doesn't make much sense for, um, for categorical data. So we're actually, we're going to delete this one. We'll just leave it right here for our categorical data. And our next video will deal with how can we, uh, how can we make our frequency table for numerical data.